Well, Patrick Joyce, this is one of the last salt piles here on Jones Island. Normally, those piles would stretch along this entire lot where I'm standing, but experts tell me it was a delay in shipments caused by a labor strike this past summer. Workers at Allen Landscaping cannot afford to let any of their salt go to waste. Even the pieces frozen solid from the wind and sub-zero temperatures. Have you had any problem getting your hands on salt? Is it bulk? A lot, a lot of problems. Uh, today everybody's out uh, and the price went from uh, 150 to 200. They're charging their customers the same, but having to spend more on salt this winter. Why? Nobody has salt. It's, we're running low on salt. Adam Schlicht with the Port of Milwaukee tells me Rubio's salt shortage is due in part to a 12 week long labor strike at the world's largest salt mine in Godrich, Ontario last summer. That significantly delayed how Southeast Wisconsin gets its salt. As a result, what we are seeing is a lot of the, the shipments we would have liked to receive in the October, November, December timeframe, we've been able to accommodate here at the port with our winter service in January and February. He says they've shipped in more than 200,000 tons of salt since January, some of it even coming from South America and North Africa. Because of the long delay, their customers have no time to waste, literally taking salt right off the ships instead of letting it sit on Jones Island. And since municipalities get first dibs, smaller contractors like Allen Landscaping are paying the price. Caroline joins us once again. Is this going to affect next year's salt, salt supply too, Caroline? No, Patrick, the port director tells me it shouldn't as long as their shipping and deliveries aren't disrupted again.